this shortage supply is freaking me out. What? What do you mean? Shortage supply. Dude, we got... There's... Oh! The, do, do you see that? Yes, dude. Yes. I put an emergency topic in there. Emergency topic. <laughs> emergency topic. <laughs> dude, we're, we're, we're the new India. That's it. I'm in the West. I can't... What is all this shortage shit? We're in the... We are Westerners, right, Stephen? Are we not in the good old US of A? Yeah. We're yeah. on this... I'm on this side. I'm in a, I'm in a province of the United States Empire. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I should suffer any kind of sufferings, but suffering is coming, I think. Oh, to the US because the shortages. Dude, these food shortages. And I think it's time. I think we got to attack China. I know it's not the first time I've said it, but I think it's time to attack China because, dude, look at the price difference. The price, one shipping container from China was $1,318. Now, 16000 it's sixteen thousand dollars right now. That's almost like a fifteen times but Amish, multiplication. But the, pro the problem is, and this is like generally what everyone's been finding out. It's good for your anti-war thing. We're so globalized that attacking China is tantamount to attack attacking ourselves. They make all our stuff. <sighs> they do. So make you go all attack the stuff. them, and then you go. You're like burning down the iPhone factory. It's like, oh, we can't. Yeah. Do that. Oops. Yeah. Who was gonna make our iPhones? Damn it. Well, that's that. <laughs> what are we going to... No, that's but now the, China... That's the topic, actually, guys. Uh, we're done. Economically, I think China's basically trying to dominate us because how much of this price increase is just because of them? And because they did leak the COVID. Now, I have been saying that Americans, like Fauci, made COVID, but they did leak it in their lab. No responsibility taken for that. It's fine. But like now, because of that... We're seeing the real prices are going to hit us. Like we're seeing a, like this this shipping uh, shortage. It's like people could run out of food and stuff in America. I don't think that's gonna. It's gonna go that far. I mean, it might actually. It, no, it could. It could. Um, the gas prices are going but, up. Everything's going up. But and I dude, think, last time, dude, I've yeah. been kind of waiting for this. That I mean, not like in oh, like. Oh, you not want like the suffering? No, 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 no. So you want? You said then they will straighten up. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain myself. Okay. With COVID, it felt like just like this horrible thing had happened. Okay. And no, but the <laughs> economy wasn't affected. Bro, the the stock market just goes boop, 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 boop. Like, yeah. like, like we didn't just suffer a worldwide pandemic. Yeah, it's coming. So I've kind of been waiting for the, not waiting, like, you know what I mean? The economic fallout to hit. I've been wondering, like, where is it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good, man, to just say, bring the suffering. No, I'm not. Bring it. <laughs> okay. I'm prepared for it. I will attack it. That's what we all okay. have to do, basically. We all have to. It's going to be, it's going to be, some things are going to be rough. Do it might just be Christmas toys. Yeah. But food, like we're talking oil, like to cook food, everything, like everything is going way up. Do you have any prepper friends? I know this might be a little off topic. Do you have prepper No, friends? dude, I'm an artist, so they would never do that. They would always be anti, they're unprepared, actually. Uh, I have all my artist friends are unprepared. So many of my friends, I just... The other day, we were out at a little coffee shop, whatever, and they're like, dude, you got a plan? You got a, what do they call it? A bug out, a bug out kit? Bro, you got, you got a fallout shelter? I was like, fallout shelter? They're like, yeah. Dude, when nuclear fallout comes, like, what are you going to do? And I go, well, I, I die, pro <laughs> die probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, they're like, You're dude. Just like, I'd rather just die they for go, that. Not on my, <laughs> they go, it. not on my watch, <laughs> and they give me like GPS coordinates. Wow. They go, dude, come to my place. They go, I got you, dude. I got you covered. They go, well, we that's got a great. generator, and we can never have enough, like, strong young men to basically, you know, make our survival colony. Wow. I'm like, dude, they're, like, prepared. Dude, Freaks and if you're out. a woman, they would have been like, we do need some women to procreate, so I know. make sure you come. <laughs> I know, weird. But um, but it, but it, I, I was kind of surprised. I, I do have maybe an unusual distribution of, like, guys who have... But now yeah. I'm thinking it's actually a good thing. Like guys who are preparing. Shipping shortage. Uh, if, yeah. we, if I need to eat like 12 year old beans, they have it covered. So oh, like I thought you were going to say year old Jim Baker <laughs> mac and cheese. Dude, they got it. I thought you were going to say if I have to eat 12 year old beans, I'd rather be dead. So I'll just go no bunker no, for me. <laughs> I have to say I quite like life. So no, I actually am. Actually no, 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 no. It will be a great suffering. It will be a joyful suffering. Um, Dude, the last time this happened, though, I remember Jimmy Carter was president and he just lost. Like, under Joe, you know what they were doing with Jimmy Carter, dude? They were having lineups for gas. And then Jimmy Carter, they started putting out these things like, okay, so if your name starts with A, 
to D, you get guests on Mondays and Wednesdays. And if your name starts from E to C, you get Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Americans said, nah. And he's out, dude. He's like a pussy ass president, basically. Who? They're like, you're a one term. Jimmy Carter, yeah. People call it's so weird that America, you'd be so tough to become president that if you're a one termer, people are like, pussy. Get out of here, no, loser. True. True. <laughs> dude, that's so that's what happens in America. When you have shortages, you're out, dude. Biden, if he doesn't get on top of this, and Bro, he has no solutions for it. He's got no solutions, dude. Yeah, this is what I, we'd basically be eating. I wanted to show you guys this. This is great the stuff. The Jim Baker bucket, dude. Just wait till they put the cheese in there. This is so oh, yeah. funny. This is, great I stuff. I, this is one of my favorite clips of mine. Would I love to put my hands in, <laughs> but it's hot. This is the, the music is, is so good. Right. Bro. Look at the broccoli in there. Oh. Wow. The <laughs> oh gosh, that looks horrible. That's but bad. cheese sauce they is good. They have a good. shovel, dude. That's what they're gonna be eating out of a shovel. They're gonna be like, oh, you need. We got you covered on the calories, dude. <laughs> Dude, China's got all the food and the shipping shortage is coming. Get your baker, get your baker buckets. So baker's just, buckets. <laughs> so what I wanted to say though is, I, you know, hey, you may not be uh, a young man, but you are a man, and you could probably come to my fallout shelter with me. You want to grab a oh, yeah. flight? I'll you'll give have you the, to get I'll give you the coordinates. Go. If it goes bad, I'll give you the coordinates. You can fly in. Thanks, dude. Yeah, we won't say it on the air, though. We don't want everyone no. showing up. Sorry, thinking? guys. Love you. Love you. Love the congregation. Sorry, guys, but there's only room for uh, like. Yeah, I'll be in. What about years. Wyatt? Wyatt, we need a producer there to really Wyatt, produce the Wyatt podcast. Needs, Wyatt, yeah, for the people who are still alive out there, dude. Yeah, Wyatt's gonna be in. Woo! We got a fallout shelter, baby. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got it covered, dude. Wyatt, you're you're welcome to come in, dude. What's up? Oh, I'm ready to go for that. Yeah, Look yeah, at yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Wyatt, yeah Wyatt's dude. gonna be there, dude. Young man, he can put in the work, till the fields, yeah. if you will. Um, but yeah, that. So he, I just he wanted can, to he tell can you guys that. Listen, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> We need some good, strong boys to shovel that cheese. Wyatt, you ready for that? You ready to shovel some cheese and broccoli out of there? Yeah, bro. Wyatt, you're going to be, uh, that's going to be your job. You're, you're gonna, you're I, can pro- I, I can produce the podcast. Anything past that, I don't really, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mm, yeah, no, dude. He's actually, like, cheese not. sauce? I think I'll just go nuclear fallout on bro, that. Bro, if you're not, you got to <laughs> stir the cheese up, dude. Oh my God, that's disgusting. It's a lot of work, eh? Well, nuclear fallout. <laughs> it is kind of interesting that that used to be that. I mean, it is still a little crazy to think about, but similar to aliens among us, it used to be something that would attract massive disdain and ridicule about how many years ago? Three? Three, four three, years ago. Actually, three years ago? Yeah. Now you bring it up, people go, eh. Right. You know why? You know why? Well, yeah. You can you can thank Joe Rogan for that. You can thank Joe Rogan for that. Joe uh, Rogan popularized the UFO shit. Wow. By the way, without people, him, oh, the New York Times good. article helps. The New York Times yeah. article helped. So the, the guy, Pentagon. It was actually the Pentagon that helped. Well, Pentagon said, "Well, actually, you guys, we've been gaslighting you this whole time. You kind of right." Right. Uh, and Joe way, Rogan was right this whole time. People want to know who White is. He just left. He's our he just podcast. Left producer i'm back yeah yo what tell else? him about your What's studio up? dude this guy's tell got a full studio indiana this guy's got a one million dollar studio no Gary definitely indiana. not a one million dollar studio it's uh it's a studio in indianapolis um oh. basically like basically like if you think of like young jamie i'm basically doing that to like your average person so if your average person wants to come start a show i have like a physical studio that i record in and so that's bing bang it. god is great that's great dude i gotta come down there that's perfect Beautiful. indianapolis is that in indiana or no not even close is Indianapolis, Indiana is what you asked? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, get your geography straight, brother. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll check. Indianapolis, where is it? Indiana- <laughs> Indianapolis is in Indiana. Oh, it's it like is. the dead center of Indiana. Yeah. Really? I really, guess that's what yeah. Indianapolis means. Apollos is like city, I think, in Greek. I don't. Apollos. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like Indiana is a city, Indiana, a city of Indiana. Anyway, guys, podcast producer, we love him. You'll be seeing more of him as the time goes on. Yeah, Um, yeah, he's he's producing with us alongside us. Eventually, I got to get him like right here, just producing with me. I don't know how we're gonna pull that off, but eventually, one day he's gonna be. One day he's gonna be the true young Jamie dude. It's gonna be pull it up, Wyatt. Prove I'm right. Prove I'm right for our (laughs) guest here. Sorry, he's blurry, but that's uh, my contract. Find some fake source. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Um, so, d- yeah, d- what's... Amish, what have you read about the shipping uh, shortage? 
Um, just that, dude. I mean, it sucks. It's like oh, the main thing is is that these shipping prices are going to go up now, and uh, I just think we're going to go. We're heading for suffering, so people should meditate. People should <laughs> uh, start preparing. You know what I'm saying? What's meditation mentally, do? mentally for your food. You have to physically become prepared. Like I honestly, dude, this suffering. I've always been told that we don't have to go through this over here, mm. but it could come That's to why the you West. Came to America, yeah. That's why we came here, dude. I mean, India is still like so screwed with all this. They're still they're having these kinds of issues. They have them. They've and they've had like food shortages where people just starve. Like not, you know. I think the last one was like during World War Two, five mm. million people died. Mm. But these things do happen, and uh, I wonder how close. I wonder how far we are in America. Like, do you think it could, it could hit America, or do you think we'll no. just figure something out? No I starvations. Think, I think no. I think some I, people could just That's how my friends less. talk. They're like they're like, yeah, when it happens. It, one of my friends said and I'm quoting, I think the most likely reason I die is either some kind of a death camp coming to pick me up or <laughs> starvation. And I said, that's your worries? <laughs> that's your worries. In Texas, dude, that's how Texans think. They go, either yeah. they're going to come and get me, yeah, because of some government list I'm on, or wow. I'm going to starve. From nuclear fallout. That is that is our top chief concerns. You think That's, it's COVID? No, not even. COVID doesn't even enter the radar over here. They say fallout or they're going to, the gulag's going to come get me.